In both Gaussian and gamma distributions, we can compute what is called standard deviation. The standard deviation is the average amount of variability within the data. It tells you how far each value lies from the mean. Any calculation of standard deviation will have the same units as the data itself. Some calculations will be unitless, but in most cases in meteorology, it will be the same as the field being analyzed. A high standard deviation means that values are generally far from the mean. Values are spread out over a large range, like the curve in orange, while a low standard deviation indicates the values are clustered close to the mean, like the curve in blue. Looking at the curves for CDFs, a low standard deviation will have a greater slope from bottom left to upper right, while greater standard deviations will have a broader slope. In meteorological context, a high value of standard deviation implies a high amount of uncertainty. Why that uncertainty exists requires investigation. Let's look at this example from the whole story uncertainty and probability viewer. In this example, the models going into the national blend of models, mostly ensembles at this time range, vary on what the 2 meter temperature will be for the forecast at hour 224, or valid Thursday, April 4th of 2024. The result is an area of high standard deviation located across North Dakota, extending southward into Nebraska. An area of standard deviation from 10 to 12 is located across east central North Dakota, so let's take a closer look at that by clicking on the value for Jamestown, North Dakota, and loading the 1D viewer perspective. Zooming into the forecast time frame in the temperature plot, we can quickly see that the values for Thursday indeed range from 34 to 66 degrees on a box and whisker plot, indeed confirming that there is a large range in values corresponding to this forecast period. Again, this would be a good time to go and investigate in the ensemble data why there is such a large standard deviation and what could be causing this. One other side note to take away from this 1D viewer graphic is that you can also see standard deviation with respect to time. The bottom right graph with the 10 meter wind speed and gust has the standard deviation range plotted in time, so you can see areas where there is quite a bit of spread among ensemble members with a large standard deviation, and other areas where there is decent good agreement with a low standard deviation.